today I am drinking matcha. Um, um, take a little break, break from the sugar. I think I've been overdoing it. I actually I thought that the serving size was a tablespoon, and I just looked on the back of the matcha package, and apparently it's a half a teaspoon. <laughs> So for days, I've been having like two tablespoons of matcha a day. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> so I just wanted to share a little part of my dream from last night with you guys because I actually found it very encouraging. Um, today is 10-11, October 11th, and I got out of bed at 10-11 and super cool. I was born at 10-11 at night, not in October, in November, but it's still really cool, all those synchronicities. So the part of my dream that I stuck out last night was I was actually in the community that I'm in out here in the hills that I'm staying in, and there was a couple people in my dream that I actually know from out here that were very, just very serious, very kind of like angry seeming and discouraged and and all around there were these signs warning about a great flood like saying we only have a couple days left like the end is almost here and it was just this big warning for a flood and I had just come from the city and I wasn't taking it very seriously so my friends kind of went off to do their own thing and they were like well we have to prepare for the well it was one friend and he was like I have to prepare for the flood and I was like okay and I was like it's not that I didn't believe that there was a flood coming I was just like I didn't take it very seriously I wasn't worried about it so I go to this little store and in this part that everybody at the store the people that worked there every the community around it everybody was really worried and was preparing for this flood and I met this little girl and it was crazy because this little girl just seemed so wise like and it's actually a little girl uh, a child of one of the people that I know out here and she was in my dream and just this light that was pouring out of her was insane it was just this ancient soul in her body and she felt like a beacon of hope I ended up speeding off in my giant jacked up silver truck I don't actually have one of those right now, maybe someday I will, but I'm just like speeding down the highway on all these curves and lines, and then I end up just like going against the trees like that, like fucking racetrack, super fucking cool, but I ended up getting thrown off the road, and I ended up somewhere where I didn't really know where I was, but I was still in like the same area, but it was different people than the people that I knew from the community, and we were... I came to and I was in this like hospital building that was being painted all these like these trees were being painted on the wall like these fake trees were being painted on the wall and they were like the end is here the end happened like it just happened um, and I was like well okay all these people were right about that there was a giant flood that was gonna happen and for some reason I felt like I needed to leave. I needed to leave the hospital to find someone or to find something that was outside in the flood. So I head towards the elevator and somebody is with me at this time but they don't actually go with me. I end up, I go into the elevator and I'm in this little boat in the elevator. Like I'm ready for the elevator to go down where there's water so I have this boat and I can go out and I like drop down a couple of floors and the door opens up and this lady leans into my boat and kind of has this vibe like she's trying to stop me. She's trying to keep me from going outside. And I just look outside the window from inside the elevator and I can see outside and there's no flood. There's no flood outside. There's I can see the parking lot. Everything is dry outside. It, maybe, maybe it looked like it had just rained, but there was definitely no flood. And I just have this realization. I was like, the flood was an illusion. The, the people in this hospital have everybody here trapped thinking that there is a massive flood outside and that you have to stay inside this hospital with fake trees to be safe from the flood. All these people, they won't even just look out the window to see 
that there is no flood and that the great flood was just this massive illusion. Super cool dream. Honestly, today is one of those days that I wake up feeling very uplifted in this house. Just feeling very bright. Everything just seems to have more color today. I feel like I have more color today. I spent a lot of time this morning meditating and sitting with myself and eye gazing in the mirror and just some beautiful habits that I love and I've just kind of put on the back burner more lately because I've been feeling really discouraged. But I thought that this dream was so encouraging. I've been doing a lot of inner work lately and the area that I'm living in has actually faced a really intense financial trauma and as well as a bunch of other traumas I feel like ever since 2020 maybe a little bit before that a little bit before 2020 but this whole area has taken a massive blow financially over the years and I feel like when there is such a massive trauma like that happening like a lot of places 2020 and COVID was a massive financial trauma to a lot of people and it, out in these hills is no different but there are some other little things that go into it and you can just feel a lot of this sad energy a lot of people have moved from out here because they can no longer afford to live out here so I do feel in a lot of places this discouragement and I've been dealing with discouragement as well I feel like maybe I have been feeding into the energy that has been, just been sitting in these hills and these mountains of discouragement and I started feeding myself that energy and it has started to bring me down as well but it is financial discouragement is something that I do deal with highs and lows ups and downs as I have for a long time so I'm no stranger to that energy but I love how this dream was centered around this whole area and it feels like a, a dream that is meant to encourage me as well as the people around here and I felt like I should share this in case anybody else out there needs to hear this that it's all an illusion Things are not ending. It's not the end. It is only the illusion of the end. There is a new beginning. Something brand new is being created right now. Which can feel traumatizing because it's such a massive change. Things are being rewritten. Things are being overtaken. The old is leaving and the new is coming. I'm excited for it. Honestly, I'm I'm excited for the changes that are coming my way and the transformation that has been happening in my life, especially over the past month. Just, I made a big move. I made a massive change in my life. And ever since then, about a month ago, just, there has been a crazy change in my inner world and in my energy, in my aura, in my perspective of myself and my life. It kind of felt like I just stepped up, stepped the fuck up into my power, dude. Like, it was like, no, I am provided for and taken care of. I am divinely guided, protected, and blessed. I have nothing to worry about. So, that is the energy that I am in today, and I'm enjoying it immensely. Yesterday, I cried most of the day, but sometimes you gotta... Sometimes I just need those days to cry it out. And I pretty much always end up feeling better after I'm done. After I've done processing that, it's out of me, and I'm like, okay, everything's good now. <laughs> I face that. I dealt with it, and uh, I don't have to hold on to that space. I can actually believe that everything is working out for me. I can actually believe that the universe is conspiring in my favor and that everything that's happening right now is happening for me to bring me the things that I want. So, word of encouragement for everybody. Don't give in to the illusion.
Don't give us a pill closure. <laughs> it's not the end. And if it is, it's just another new beginning. Allow it to be a new beginning and just the morbidity of an end. Allow the freshness and the goodness, the beauty, the purity of a new beginning. I love it. I love it. Cheers, guys. Ah, I hope that you have a fantastical day. Thank you for watching my channel.